TDP is a condition that tends to attack in middle age with a median age of a, you know, first diagnosis in their early 40s. However, that leaves a lot of people that are diagnosed prior to that time. And TTP tends to have a female predominance, so it will be affecting women of childbearing age. The unique situation with pregnancy is that even in normal pregnancy, towards the end of pregnancy, Adam TS13 activity goes down and von Neumann factor levels go up, likely as a natural defense against postpartum hemorrhage, which used to kill a lot of pregnant women in the past. What we do know about pregnancy and TTP is that pregnancy can be the trigger for TTP. So many women who have congenital TTP will present for the first time when they're pregnant because these changes in pregnancy will tip them over into an over TTP episode. And then pregnancy is also a trigger for immune TTP or acquired TTP. The challenge here is twofold. One is that if TTP recurs during a pregnancy, um, then the fetal outcomes may be poor, particularly when it occurs somewhere between the 20th to the 30th week of pregnancy, there's a really high rate of losing the pregnancy. And the fact is that if a woman has already had TTP in the past, getting pregnant may put her into a relapse, which is life-threatening for her as well as her baby. Earlier outcomes of pregnancy in, in women who had already had TTP were not very good. However, there is a recognition now that if a woman has a normal Adam TS13 level going into pregnancy and maintains that level through pregnancy, the risk of relapse is much, much lower and fetal outcomes are also likely to be better. So what many of us will now try to do is monitor people and have a preconception counseling session where if a woman who has already had TTP tells me that I want to get pregnant and we see that her Adam TS13 level is low, we may decide to treat it even before she gets pregnant with drugs such as rituximab or other immunosuppression to get that number into a normal or close to normal range so that the risk of relapse during pregnancy is a lot lower. This is to help her not relapse, but also to have a successful pregnancy with a 